the Grade 1 Beverly D for the Phillies and Mares of Breeders' Cup win and you're in. And who's it going to be this year? I think this field is so deep. I keep changing my mind. It, it, it is the hardest race I've had to handicap all year. It's extremely difficult. Six greater group one winners, and I have to go with Stephanie's Kitten. I thought, I, I thought long and hard about this, but Stephanie's Kitten just looks like she's going to get the proper ride, the proper trip, and she's coming in the right way. All right, I'm going with the Euros again. I'm taking just the judge. Love the way she looks on the turf course out here. Handles any conditions. I just think she's really made a great appearance. I'm going to put her on top. Then I'm going to use Stephanie's Kitten in second place. I agree with you. She couldn't look any better. And she probably should have won the Diana where she finished just behind mm -hmm. Somali Lemonade. Somali Lemonade, every time I see her, she just makes a great appearance. She does. She is. She looked phenomenal on the turf yesterday. The thing with her that I worry about is the post on the far outside. She has tactical speed, but she's going to have to use herself a little bit. And when you're going into a horse like Latia or I'm Already Sexy, who have a lot of speed, she's going to have to use herself a little bit too much, in my opinion. All right, what about Euro Charlene? Do we give her a chance? She was actually pretty good on the turf today. Yes. She did one wheelie on the backside and then got going. <laughs> she, is, she, has, she has personality, as they say. And uh, Lucci Body, the assistant trainer and wife of Marco, she said that as long as there's talent that comes with that personality, it's okay. <laughs> and today was the first time she was allowed to go on ahead of uh, Dan Dino, and she looked great. Yeah. Maybe it's because Barry Irwin was watching from the, from the apron, but yes, she looks phenomenal, and I think she's right there. All right, I'm going to put Euro Charlene in the third spot, kind of. I've got her sort of in a tie with Somali Lemonade and Emollient. How do we leave our girl out? She's looks so good. The I, I'm going to have to toss her. I feel, I, you know, it's terrible to say that, but in this kind of a race, this kind of a pace scenario, you don't know where she's going to land, and she's inside of all the speed. So she might get either shuffled or she might have a little bit of traffic issue, and she's a free-running horse that runs however she wants to each race. So I have to pick just the judge second with, I actually have a tie, I'm going to do one of you, <laughs> and I'm with Euro Charlene and the local horse Latia in third. All right, the Beverly D, a Breeders' Cup win, and you're in. Who will punch their ticket to Santa Anita here on Saturday?